I have never, never done that. Qué triste. Jesus, Lord, thank you so much for everything. For giving me this blessing, beautiful girl in the world. And this beautiful boy, beautiful angel, beautiful soul. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, for everything. This is a blessing that was with me. Every time when I'm with them, I feel so complete. I want to be with them every single day. God is such a blessing, big blessing, another blessing day with my beautiful woman and my little boy. I'm so in love with these beautiful people. Okay, guys, so it's another wonderful blessing day um hoy tengo un little date with the one and only my big sister i'm so excited because this is so sad all my life todos los años que yo he estado vi um, viva we have never ever gone out us you know me and her uh, obviously we have you know taken the kids out like to the water park or stuff like that like but like just us to go out you know like normal sisters do I don't know go to Starbucks go eat we have never never done that get triste if I think about it that's super sad but we're doing that today I am super excited my sister invited me to get a pedicure thank you sis um, so eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Armandito is gonna stay behind with daddy and we're gonna spend time together. He takes every chance he gets to be with his dad, so he's gonna be happy and we're gonna have a little date con mi hermanita. Okay, let's go right now because yeah, it's already four and we said at four o'clock. So let me go and get my purse and all my little things ready. Los veo. Uh, yeah. I have never gotten my nails done and let me tell you baby daddy has asked plenty of times but I don't want to waste money on something that I know won't last me and fake nails look so nice and I'm not gonna lie they look bomb but I feel like that's not for me I wouldn't be able to be my normal self with fake nails and it's something that you have to get used to and no matter what nail polish I buy Nunca me duran las uñas, so I don't know, nail salon is not, like, it's not meant for me. But, vámonos ahora, ok? Los veo, los veo allá. I'll tell him in person, mejor. So we can laugh together. <laughs> About my, my adventure. Look at this toast. Ew. <laughs> yeah, they look nice. Okay, guys, feel special that I'm showing you guys my pretty toes. This is my nails. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué les parece? I don't know. Um, I'm very, very, very different. I wanted to do glittery. A ver, mamita. A ver, esa pechocha no, ¿sabes? Mi pinchecha. I wanted to do silver and gold. And my sister was surprised. Surprised. She was like, what? I thought you were going to go with a bright color. But, I don't know. It was my first time. ¿Y qué les parece mis uñitas? A ver. Let me show you guys in the light. On top of... Ooh, get okay, when you're smart fans. <laughs> We're cleaning and those mommy. And I'm I'm I barely finished my homework like at nine o'clock. And I need Netflix and bye. Hello guys, beautiful people. Welcome back to 
my channel. So we're running a little bit late to a birthday party. What, what, what time is it over? I don't know why I'm not, I'm not sure I didn't say. But I want to quickly show you guys the gift. Okay, so Mommy, it's my phone. We got this shirt and we got another tank top. And we got one more shirt. He's turning four or five. I'm not sure. Five. Five. He likes superheroes. We were told. I'm sorry. Right now, I'm running. I'm running late. Like I said, and we don't have lights. Well, I didn't turn on the lights. <laughs> and then we got this Captain America superhero. And we got this Spider-Man thingy the jingy. Mm-hmm. He loves his favorite character, Spider-Man, but he loves superhero. We Superheroes. Got, we got Flash. Those are like the squishable thingies. I'm on the bus, those. And we got a cough thingy. So it's like a surprise. What will he get? And yeah, let's say it's so hot, guys. It's super hot. I supposedly did my makeup like bien temprano. And That's mine. I, no, it's not. <laughs> I got carried away with the time and. I was just chilling like oh my makeup's already done and before I knew it it was already like almost four it's and then four. and then I was like oh. I just threw, threw on whatever seriously so I'm just wearing sandals some jeans and this shirt that you guys have seen me wear before um, and then when we come back I'm going to show you some of the things that already arrived for the wedding. So make sure guys, you guys. You gotta go. Already. You gotta go. Yes. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the end if you guys want to see a little sneak peek. See you at the party. Wow. Hi, you Hi birthday Hi. boy. Hi. Happy birthday. Hi. Uh, are you happy? Uh huh. Have it. How old are you turning? Uh, how old are you turning? <laughs> wow, no, he did a backflip. Oh, what are you showing me? That's pretty cool. Okay. Guys, we're already at the party. And we so regret. Yes, it's outside. We thought it was. We were like, oh, it's gonna, they're gonna have an AC. It's gonna be inside. It's outside. And we regret it. Super hot. Super hot. Seven. High five. So it's time to eat. It looks good. So right now they're playing games. I mean, you guys can't see. I'm so I'm so sorry. It's a little too dark, but they're playing games. And I'm still eating. I just finished eating the pizza. Look, I'm on the sweating. He's so hot. What did you get? I got two dogs. Whoa. Did you play the game? Wow! You're going to go play, boy? <laughs> there he goes, guys. There he goes. Nothing. Break it. <laughs> go, Papa. Break it. Right there! Let me show you guys a little sneak peek. Um, oh, wait, that is like, what are you gonna show them a sneak peek of? Is this something I don't know? What are you doing, Okay, so baby daddy doesn't even know how my dress looks like. He, he doesn't even know 
obviously how you know I look on it but for me it has to be a different story I couldn't resist and I saw how his tuxedo looks like but every time I talk maybe Armando always stares at me a lot of little kids do that uh -huh. okay oh yeah Armando's just reminding me guys so every time I, I'm blogging and talking Armando always stares at me like this look like completely staring, guys. No like thinking. focus. Like and guess, watching a movie. Mhm. Mm and guess what? I f I just figured out that all the kids do that. All the little kids like they stare at me like. Why? Do I have something in my teeth? <laughs> okay, but anyways, I couldn't resist, and I couldn't resist, and I had to see, well, actually, um, actually, also because I needed to see, like, the colors, because based on his tuxedo, um, I was going to make him match with also, like, the flower girl and stuff, uh, my son matched with that, and I just went to the website, and I was like, here, Look at the tuxedos, but really, really look to them, through them, and keep looking until you come across one that you're like, okay, this is it. Um, and so he chose it, and it's like a white with Roger Blue, and I saw it, it looks cute, but once again, I haven't seen him wearing it, which is so exciting, because you know, to see... You know, like a clothing, it's totally different than seeing like the love of your, of your life actually having it on. And I think I was like, because they're also going to do that, the decorations, Rojo Blue and White. And I think I was just thinking of like a couple of days ago, like it's not going to look like a wedding. It might look like a quince. Because also I heard this sermon say like, you're not gonna, you guys are not decorating it full white. And I, I think based on her comments, I was like, oh, will it look bad? What if people are like, is this a cancer or something? But it, at the end, I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna focus and be negative. Thank you. You're the best son. I was super thirsty. <gasps> no, that was cold. Um, yeah. And I actually love the idea, and I, um, I've been planning it this way, Roger Blue with white. So I was like, you know what? We're only going to get married once. We're just going to go ahead with what we want. Like, um, many people have told me, at the end of the day, it's your wedding. You decide what you want to do, what you don't, this and that. Like, all the, all the decisions are yours because it's your wedding. But anyways, um, I don't know if I should give you guys a picture. Or actually show you guys just a tiny tiny bit um look i love the details it's like petals i don't know this kind of design i love it uh so his tuxedo only came in like sizes me small medium and large and he tried the pants and the pants ended up being like huge on him like he could literally like fly with those pants so we're just going to take the same color pants and go somewhere try to try to find that similar color um because he oh, he tried it on by the way when we got it he like loved himself he was like oh my gosh i'm i'm so handsome i'm like yes you are um but yeah he loves how he looks in it Armando's was the first tuxedo we got um, that was delivered. I also tried it on a hem just because, you know, of course, I want to make sure that everything looks good and whatnot. Uh, so this is Armando's. And again, the same thing happened with his pants. I don't know what's up if the sizing is wrong or I don't know. The pants and Armando end up being like really, really, really long, but. I already found someone that can fix it and make it shorter and I'm not sure if baby daddy's gonna put anything on his face or shoes or something like that I, I'm not sure um, I mean obviously he's wearing shoes but I, I don't know like what kind or the color or if he wants to wear a hat which again many people are probably like a tuxedo and a hat but guys this is us like we are not going to keep it traditional just to please others. If he wants to wear a hat, whatever, you know? Amen, um, baby, amen. 
I'm okay with him. That's him, and if that makes him feel cute, and you know, um, I actually encourage him to do it. And this is Armando's hat. Armando will be walking before me, and it's super cute. Oh, everything that the ideas that I have in mind, I just can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, the flower. We also got a flower girl dress. I'm gonna insert a picture right here, just because I already um, gave everything to my sister. I'm just missing the basket. Um, everything else, like I already got the petals. I already got like two options of accessories depending on whichever one she wants to wear i already gave it to my sister um because i already know that day i'm going to be busy and i don't want to end up forgetting something and then for it to be on me that way you know she's going to be in charge of um having everything that the flower girl needs needs and let me show you guys a little 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 sneak peek of my dress oh my gosh guys uh like I told you guys, this was a, a really, really, really big risk that I did. But I tried it on and I am obsessed. It looks exactly like the picture. I'm obviously going to do a review. and But I'm obviously going to put it... I mean, I probably will upload it after the wedding just so I can surprise... Just so I can surprise you guys. You guys... Um, don't know the dress that I have you know so I, I will upload the video after the wedding but I will record the video of me reviewing it and trying it on before the wedding um, let me show you guys a little little sneak peek so dark in here what and I actually steamed it I have my phone because I just want to do this quick baby daddy went super quick to his friend's house so he's going to be back um, and he hasn't seen my dress so look let me show you guys a little 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 you guys will probably be like girl come on that's it that's all we get this is part of my dress ah, it doesn't look like it's wrinkly I hope not um <gasps> I think these are the earrings I'm going to be wearing. I'm still not a hundred hundred percent sure. And me and my sister and probably my mom, we have plans to go get our nails done. Um, like uh, Thursday, Friday, so three days before the wedding. That way I can have some cute nails. And what else? We still have to. I ordered Armando like these really, really like fancy shoes that they were plain white, but they had like this weird sizing, like 32, blah blah blah. And I measure his foot based on the measurement. He was like 33, but they ended up they're like super super tiny. So I just gave it to my nephew. Um, he's going to. <laughs> have to wear something else so we're still missing his shoes uh, we're missing baby daddy's shoes and my high heels this is still not a hundred percent you know but I was just planning on wearing like some random white shoes some comfortable shoes but I don't know again for the most part I I keep hearing feedback like just wear like low heels just wear low heels and so I'm going to try like whenever we're shopping for their shoes um, I'm gonna look around keep my eyes open and see if I do find some low heels that are comfortable and if not I'm not even gonna stress or bother like I'm just going to go with my previous plan which was just to wear um, normal shoes I am getting my makeup professionally done this was also something that I was debating because we know we know how to make ourselves pop out how to make our features stand out and when you're used to you looking or you doing your makeup a certain way when someone else does it for you um, you either end up loving it or hating it or not liking it and you I don't know technically um, it's a I don't know trusting somebody to do my makeup it's just like 
something I never expected that I would do but just because um, I love the way I do my makeup and I'm like what if I don't like it but yeah um, my makeup will be professional my hair I'm still debating she does do hair too but I'm still not sure if I want her to do my hair or if I just want to do it on my own I have been editing some videos uh, because I have some surprises and uh, we're going to have an hour of just free for us to dance or do whatever we want and I have some surprises not just for baby daddy but for my mom and my brother and stuff like that and then two videos I finished one of the videos and I've been working low low key on them but it's so hard because normally when I you know when I want to work on them it's at night time when I can, when Armando's sleeping, but then baby daddy's next to me. I don't know what I'm why I'm whispering, he's still not here. Baby daddy's chilling next to me watching like Survivor. And so it's like, ugh, it's, it's complicated. I'd rather not work on it, and you know, so I don't risk him finding out about surprises, about the surprises, so I just work on it whenever I get a chance with which is like once in like two weeks once every two weeks but I'm officially done with one I'm also planning like a, a surprise with his parents but it's um it's a little bit hard because his schedule like there's there they work a lot so it's a little bit hard but I have like a week to turn it in because I need to have everything ready in the USB and so I can tell the person that the speaker you know technically my plans so he can know what to do and I can also um, turn it into the person that's going to be in charge of all the visuals and the music and he can also like make sure everything is set for that date um, I'm also having a little surprise for our pastor and his wife I don't know if I told you guys but uh, their anniversary, wedding anniversary, I think it's like 23rd anniversary, is on the day that we're getting married, which is so crazy because we have a similar love story. It's amazing. When I heard that, I love it because I loved it because um, they're like a role model and it's just like um, all the battles we've been, they've been to, we have gone through them too, and you know, they, they've made it 23 years together being married so it's like we're, we will get there too but that's technically all um, I'm going to record tomorrow we also need to take some photo shoots we're gonna have like a mini photo shoot because there's a picture that I, we need to choose so they can have it in the entrance and we're also going to plan I mean we're gonna practice two, in two weeks you know it's just so the flower girl and my son and people you know everybody can know like this is how it's going to look like and this is where we're going to walk I cannot believe we only have two weeks left I cannot believe it's almost my wedding <laughs> I try to not think about it to not get nervous but um, if I think about it I'm nervous and baby daddy has been so nervous like he's looking more nervous than me I'm not nervous just because I don't think about it but the second I think about it I start to get nervous <gasps> so excited though and we already know where we are going on the honeymoon i'm so excited for that yeah the homeboy is coming with us because we can't leave him behind some people also were like no it needs to be just you two we'll babysit him but hmm. i don't know I want to. yeah he does you want to I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you are new to, to my channel, subscribe so you can see my wedding day. My wedding day, guys. Oh, can't wait to share more things with you guys. I can't wait to share that special day with you guys. I also just bought hmm, some cute things that I want for the kids to participate in the wedding with like bubbles and a bad little gift for the flower girl which is going to be my niece Eva and a little gift for my son and I'm so excited I'm debating about the wedding favors I found this chocolate bar that has your picture I don't I'm still 
not sure about that. I have I have a couple of ideas, and I know it's so late. Like my sister's like candy. I don't think you know what day it is because you. I'm like just chilling, relaxing when I should be like stressing, freaking out. Cause I have not so so much, but I have things to do, and I'm just like relaxing. And the day is literally approaching us. Like the day is almost here. <sighs> But yeah, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my special day Like this video If you guys are loving this wedding box And I will see you back in my next video Remember, God loves you Bye beauties Baby daddy swallowed a bug Guys This is no joke This is You guys are probably think I'm joking But So 45 minutes ago, I was just chilling here, you know, and I was like, you know what? It looks like a good night so I can write my, my board. board. Mm -hmm. It has light, so it's pretty cool, you know, just like running around every night. So today, guys, I was just going like my, my limit speed that I was going. I took a long breath, like, and guess what? <laughs> a bug just literally, I swallow a bug. <sighs> and I was panicking because I was like... <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh, do I need to go to the hospital? You should have chewed it. No, I it literally just swallowed it. <laughs> I didn't have time to chew anything. I was like... <clears throat> and it just felt like, you know, it's so, so, so close. So shy. I'm like, I cannot believe I'm swallowed a uh, bug and it's in my throat right now. Mm -hmm. So I was like... <gasps> <gasps> so I'm trying like, to try to spit it out, you know? Like, what? And I was making all those disgusting noises and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. try to take it out. So I was like, so I was close to my friend because I was gonna show him my board too. So he wanted to see it. And then when I, when I knocked in there, I was like, bro, I just swallowed a bug. He started cracking, he started cracking up. Like I was literally joking around. Like, bro, I literally swallowed a freaking bug. I can't feel my throat. Like, give me something, bro, please. <laughs> so he gives me a big chunk of water. And I'm like, and I, right now I still feel like I have it, guys. And I was eating some tacos and I don't know. Then my stomach started hurt a little bit. I don't know if I'm hungry or was the tacos. I don't know what happened, but you're hungry because you asked me to make your sandwich. It just in my throat, right? It's just really disgusting. I can't believe it. I'm pretty shocked, and I was like, I just like froze like for a minute because I couldn't believe what the heck just happened. I just, I, mean, I just try to enjoy my night. I looked it up. Well, I looked it up when you swallowed a, a, a pie. Oh, don't tell me what happened. It's gonna grow some eggs. <laughs> huh? <laughs> They're gonna grow eggs in there. Wait, are you kidding me? No, you have to go get an operation. What? No, seriously, baby. Yeah. So I need to go to the hospital? You want me to, you want me to show it to you? Are you kidding me? Baby? No. Seriously? No. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, it is. You, you swallowed it. It she just swallowed. It's not, it's not dead. I right, know, that's why your stomach hurts. She's in there flying. They literally freaking me out. <laughs> hey, you're gonna see my head. You're gonna see my head. My head cough or something. Guys, she's freaking me out right now. Later, I'm. Sh oh my gosh. Are you serious? When you swallow it, it's still alive. When 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 the when the whale swallowed a man, he was still alive. Wait, seriously, I'm really gonna go to the hospital. Are you serious? Let me do a shirt. Yeah. I'm fucking scared of him. <sighs> yeah, I'm really shook. Maybe you scared of me. I'm joking, by the way. It doesn't correct? I haven't looked at it. Haven't looked at it. What do you do <laughs> No, baby, I swear, I swear, baby. <laughs> I he, when he told me, I started cracking up. It was hilarious. Dude, I'm really scared, guys. Like, my stomach hurts right now, so pray for me, okay? Comment below, guys, if you guys part two. I'll let you know what's up. <laughs>